to Safe and Sound Support videos brought to you by Safe and Sound Creative Technologies serving the East Tennessee area. Today we're going to be talking about the general operations of the DSC Power Series Neo panels. Uh, the first keypad we're going to be talking about is the standard LCD keypad that looks like this. Um, the first thing that you want to notice um, to arm the system, there needs to be a green check mark in the top right hand corner that you see right here. Uh, once that green check mark is there you can arm the system. If that green check mark is not there it will look like this. It will scroll through and show you that there is an open zone and they'll tell you to, to secure the system before arming. Uh, so once that system is secured so all the doors are shut it'll say system is ready to arm and the first thing you want to do to arm the system um, you can type your code in and the system is armed but the system is armed in the stay mode so that means if you're staying in the house um, if you are leaving the house if you want to change it to away mode you can just press the away button and hold it down and it'll say interior has been armed so that's going to arm it for away uh, to disarm the system you can just type your code in and the system is disarmed. Um, a quicker way to arm the system would be to press and hold down the stay button if you're staying at home and it will arm the system for stay. Um, to disarm it again just type your code in and the system is disarmed. Um, you can also press the away button and hold it down and it will arm the system for away. Now depending on how your system is programmed, uh, the only way away mode will work is if you arm it for away and then leave through a door that is programmed as an entry door. So if you were not to leave and press the away button, once the countdown is complete it will automatically default back to stay mode because it did not detect that a door opened after away mode was established so it thinks someone is still in the house. So it will default back to stay mode if you do not exit the house. Again, we're going to disarm the system. And the system is now disarmed. Um, the third button down here on the right is the chime button. So typically your system is set up to where if you open up a door, it will chime like that. If you press and hold that chime button down, it will deactivate the chime mode. So now when a door is open, you will no longer hear a chime. We're going to turn that back on and by pressing and holding down the chime button. And now it says the chime feature is on. Uh, the next button down is the reset button. You would need to do this if you were in a menu on the screen and you needed to get out of the menu. You could either press the reset button or you can press the pound button, which is also the exit button. Uh, the next thing down is the exit button. Um, as I said before, you would press that if you were in a menu and you needed to get out. Over here on the left side, you have your uh, fire button is the top button. And you have your medical panic is the second button. And your police panic is the third set of buttons down. To sound the fire alarm, you would need to press and hold down the two fire buttons at the same time for about three seconds and it'll sound the fire alarm off. Uh, the medical buttons, uh, we do not use that option, but the so you just ignore those buttons. The police panics, you just press and hold down those two buttons. I'll show you here. And now it says the system is in alarm, and it, that is the police panic. Your sirens will go off, and it will call the police department if you are a monitored customer. We're going to just key your code in to disarm it. And now the system is disarmed. We are going to si simulate now an alarm on the system. So we're going to arm the system. The typical countdown is 60 seconds. And uh, now we are armed for stay mode. So I'm going to open up a door. And it's going to start as countdown. Typically the countdown is 30 seconds unless you request something otherwise. 
All right, so now the system is in alarm, and it shows the front door oh, is what went into alarm. So we're going to disarm the system. So now the system is disarmed. So if you notice, it shows alarm occurred while armed. So that's going to stay on the screen until you go through and clear it. So that, even though it says system is ready to arm, it'll always show that there is an alarm memory. The only way to clear a alarm memory is to arm the system and disarm it. So we're just going to hit arm stay, and now we're going to disarm the system. And then it says system is disarmed, no, mem no alarm memory. So now there will never be anything on there. As you can see, when I'm pressing the over buttons, there's no alarm memory. So now everything is completely clear from the system. Another issue that you may encounter with the system is there may be a yellow triangle right there on the right, on the right side there above the power indicator. If there is a yellow triangle there, that means there's an issue with the system. And more times than not, that issue is there because the time is not set on the keypad. So to set the time on the keypad, you can just press star six and then enter in your master code. And then you just press the over button till you see date and time and then press star. And now this is where you can set your time. You just type in your time and then keep going all the way over. And then the time is set. And now you can press the pound key to exit and your time will be set. For more support videos, please visit our YouTube channel or our website at safeandsound.com.